third and short. They'll try and pick it up through the air. Coleman has it here right side. And he is going to have a Panthers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Hey, and they'll send the slot in motion left. Again, he'll drop to throw. Throwing left side, it's complete. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go to half number one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up with first and 10. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. Gonzalez is good on the extra point. And the lead is up to 15 now. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. Taking it about the one. And he returns this to the 22. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So it's halftime here. All right, we'll bypass the halftime show in favor of returning to this late season game with the teams coming back from the locker rooms here a bit early. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. So this a two-possession ball game as we get back underway, set for the third quarter. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Getting set for the first snap of this next drive, Amari Rodgers leads out the offense. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good. But there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check. But he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, like, you do. You, you get, get hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Here comes Dobbins on the toss right. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. They're down here in the third quarter trying to get something going. Going to the outside there didn't work out, though. Yeah, and from the cheap seats and from where you and I are sitting, <laughs> we, did, we did pay a pretty good price to get in here, right? You often 
wonder to yourself, why do you make that type of a call? That one went for no gain. But I think this offense thinks to itself, if we keep running these plays, eventually something may pop. It just didn't on that one. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. They'll run up the gut with Dobbins. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. To throw on second down, Burks. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Keeps the sticks moving. Throwing on first down, Burks. That's complete to Rodgers. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Operating from the gun, Burks. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Panthers will take over here at their own 14-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Sutton. Now we're going to get a timeout. Here's we've got an injured Buccaneer. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, is going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, it's Sutton. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And in for the Buccaneers, touchdown. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Buccaneers get a bit closer. Point after, right down the middle. And this is back to an eight-point game. A nice, tidy little drive there, getting the ball in excellent field position and only one play to score it. Takes it at the seven. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Carolina offense about ready to go. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throw left side complete. That's Wilson. Hurry, hurry. And he's hurry, gonna get a hurry. solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Up the middle they go. Sutton. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. On third down, it's Sutton. And he loses the football a second time. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure. That... 
to review the play. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Wilson snags it left side. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Second and one. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Sutton. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. They're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll look to throw now on first down. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Vita Vea make that now eight sacks for him on the season. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. And this came from the interior of the defensive line. And these guys, they're normally anchors of that spot. And they don't often get clear shots at the quarterback. But in this case, he got past the center and the guard in no time and got there to make the play. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs 25-yard line. They'll look to throw here. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16 and another first down. Now back to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. But well, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try to get those yards a safer way. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's the Panthers out in front and in control of the football as well as we begin quarter number four. Start the drive. Burks. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Looking to throw. Burks. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game, and now this time an interception return for another score. Gonzalez now to add the extra point. Now he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taken in at the three. 
And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Back now comes Tampa Bay. We'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game with a good chunk of time on the clock. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. Back to throw. Burks. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. This defense has passed his first two test by throws and back-to-back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Looking to throw. Burks. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A 14-yard pickup. That's 14 yards on two straight plays. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one, didn't even matter. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Dobbins on the slant route. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up. But they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Line of scrimmage again to 37 as they line up second and 10. Operating from the gun, Burks. He'll swing this out to Dobbins. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together, we're talking about running backs about the ability to catch the ball. Matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One on one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one on ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those too. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. We'll get a pause here. There appears to be a Panther who was shaken up on that last play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Looking to throw on second down. Burks. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. There he goes, right side. Pass the 20. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. This is almost what I've heard referred to as a pick 12. Pick 12, explain. You well, know, you're talking about the six that they were trying oh, to get. because they were so close right? to the end zone. And now the six go in the other direction. So when you take a look at it, teams on the march, they're in the red zone. Then after the interception, and it took a touchdown-saving tackle to keep them from going all the way. Meanwhile, here's a shot for the end zone right away, but it's incomplete. Oh, on second down. It's Sutton, and he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. A great play there with his 14th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Panthers add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Gonzalez to add the PAT. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. The Carolina kick team is out there, ready to go, and they kick this one away. Taking it about the one. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. 
with the Bucks offense making their way back out on the field. Let's take a look at the playoff picture, Charles, coming into the weekend in the NFC. A CD after this game, there will be four weeks left in the regular season. So this is far from the final version of what we'll see come January, more of a first draft, if you will, as all these teams fight for a better position. And you pointed it out so accurately there, Brandon. After this game, four weeks left in the regular season, and then the playoffs officially begin. But for some teams trying to fight to make it to the playoffs, they're actually in a playoff push right now. On first down, Burks. That's caught right side by Rodgers. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. To throw on second down, Burks. He'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Operating from the gun. Burks, man open right side. It's Rodgers. Second and four. to throw. Burks. And it's a short one here. Complete to the tight end. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. and 10. Burks. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Back to throw again. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And the Bucs are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. Looking to throw on second down. Burks toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. This likely a must have third and goal. Looking to throw, Burks. And this is going to be intercepted. And he's into the clear. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. 10. And he will bring this one back. It's a big six for a Panther touchdown. So now out is the Panther offense as he'll come in and go for the two-point try. They'll try and throw for it. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. <laughs> I think this is just going to be a function of the times we live in now. Very similar to the bat flip in baseball. Everyone's got to start to get comfortable with this. But to me, this is just rubbing it in. You got a big lead. Go ahead and take the extra point. One thing to keep in mind, though, Karma's still out there, and sometimes has a way of catching up with you. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. <laughs> Throwing after the interception, Burks. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 
Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. But with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. But we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants him to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Back to throw, Burks. And this one incomplete. So the clock stop now with 20 seconds remaining. To throw on third down, Burks. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. Throwing on first down, Burks. And that is incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. To throw again, Burks. One last shot at the end zone. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camp, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So for the Panthers, it's a 10th win on the year as they move to 10-3. And, and they'll have another home date next week as the L.A. Rams come to town. Meanwhile, for Tampa Bay, it's a potentially fatal blow to their playoff chances as they drop to 6-7 and seven on the year. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road.
God for me, who could be against me? I guess all of that's against me. They the ones stirring up the conflict. They try to make it out like I'm conflicted.